Right. Could they um, trade us all over the world? Um, subscribers, viewers, right? Um, firstly, I just want to thank those who kept on subscribing and those who kept on supporting the vision, right? Um, and also, I just want to thank those, those comments that you guys keep um, pulling up so that we can try to uh, meet you halfway to accommodate each and everyone based on your difficulties and your experiences in the market, right? Now, on this today's video, I'm going to show you just a simple, um, a useful and also an accurate, consistent strategy, right? Um, I know some of you know about this, but please do um, take your time to listen to what I'm going to say right now, right? Now, today, we are talking about the double top. I know you are familiar with this. And uh, and uh, uh, double bottom, right? Yes, the double bottom formations. Okay. Now it's very simple and it's very very accurate. Now I'm going to talk about the trading double top and double bottom formations with. Um, using a moving average of 13 EMA, right? 13 EMA moving average. So I'm going to show you. I know on my previous video, I talked about um, the M's and W's, but I never mentioned trading. Um, double top and double bottom formations with the 13 EMA moving average. Remember, this one strategy is not only for NASDAQ or for USA. This strategy you can use it on every pair, right? And also, um, about the strategy, you must use this strategy on a 15 minute time frame, most accurately. You can also use it on one hour, four hour, but most of the time it takes place on a one minute time frame on a normal basis right 15 minute time frame you go to your meta trader right you go to a moving average um it's a simple um and applied to close right not exponential it's a simple um and then it's applied to close and it's a 13 ema moving average right now, firstly, let's start with the double top, right? We all know the double top is when you want to sell, right? When you want to sell, you use or you have to look or spot for a double top formation, meaning that we are, we are selling, right? Now, let's say you have your... I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to apply this moving average. Now, your moving average most of the time will move like this. Right? It will move like that. Now, what are we looking for? We are looking for three or two touches. Remember, when the market reaches um, the same price, when the market touches many touches, when the market has many touches at the same price or at a certain price we have to be inconsiderate we have to make sure that we spot what is happening in the market right now this is how you use the trading double top with the 13 ema moving average it's a 13 ema moving average right now most important thing is you have to look for this the market must or the moving average must touch the first leg right as we know this is the first leg um it's the first leg right and this one is a second leg right exactly um it's the first leg and the second leg now the market has to touch the first leg I mean, the moving average must touch the first leg at that price. And when the market touches the first leg, you have your uh, first 
confirmation or your first position right we can just say a you can just say a right the market must touch the market must touch the first leg right and you must have your neckline there you have a neckline there right we call this a neckline right and the market will pass from the neckline and touches the second leg again now you see this the moving average must touch first the first leg and the second leg right there we can call this is a b right what are we waiting for now we are waiting for a third confirmation that really this is going to be an m right and the moving average must touch the second leg again the third time which is number c right let's let's go back let's recap let's recap now you have your the double top formation right now you want to know how effective it is you must you must ask yourself first right you must have a clear confirmations that really this is a double top and it's going to be a, a moving uh, double top it's going to make money right it's going to move pips right we need pips we don't want anything Right now, when the moving average passes the first leg, the moving average must must touch the first leg, and then it must touch again the second leg, and then after that it must touch the leg of the third touch. It must have the third touch. Then we can assume that the market is gonna go for a sell, which is very simple, right? Or you can wait for your entry. You can place your entry right here. You can wait for this to happen. You can wait for the market to retest the neckline and then you can sell. You can sell right there. And your take profit will be from the previous support level or where this leg started trending on the upside. Right? Remember, you must have at least three touches of the moving average on your double top. Confirming that this is a set. You must at least have one touch right second touch the third touch you must wait for this for the market to pass the moving average or you must wait for the yes for the market to 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 pass or to close below the moving average right you see the market touched this um the moving average right and then it, it went down or it closed below and then we had a retracement the market went upside and then it touched again the double top right and then thirdly we had the market touch the moving average for the third time and then the market drop right you can wait for the market to do what to replace or to have a pullback then you can enter for a sell at the neckline right you must wait for the market to do what if you have a double top the market they must at least touch the double top three times i mean the moving average must touch the double top at least three times this is the first, first touch, second touch, third touch. Now we know we have three confirmations of a double top. Now if the double top is, is formed, then we can have our entry. Or you can enter below the neckline and hold your trade. Right? It's very simple. Very simple. Remember, this is the 13 EMA moving around on a 15 minute time frame. Right? Let's do the opposite. Let's do the opposite, right? Now we are on a double, double bottom, right? Now, most of the time, this is what the market will do. The moving average, you know how the moving average works, right? So, how do we confirm our W, right? The market must first touch the first leg. Let's say this is our first leg, right? And then this is our second leg. Now what happens is the market must touch the first leg. The moving average must touch the first leg, right? And then it will pass automatically and then retrace and touch the second leg. The moving average will then go and touch the second leg for a second time. Now this is the first touch and this is the second touch. Now we are waiting. For a third touch to confirm that really this is what we are expecting now the market touches um 
if the market has the third touch, it touches um, your pattern, right? It touches your, the moving average touches your pattern right there, or it touches your second leg for the second time. Simply means that we're gonna look forward for entry opportunities now to have your what? Your neckline, right? Now, you can wait for the market to pass um, the neckline, right? If the market closes above the neckline, then you can have your entry of a buy, right? Once the market closes, if you have your double top formation, your entry must be above the neckline, right? There's no pressure anymore. But also, you can also enter the retracement on the neckline, because most of the time, when you have a double top or a double bottom formation, the market mostly retest the neckline and then moves to your direction, right? Now, for a double top, you must at least have three touches there. Moving average must touch your double top at least, I mean, your double bottom at least three times. Is the, is the, you have your first touch on your first leg, right? Then on your second, on your second leg, you have a touch again. And then on the third leg, you have another touch. But you cannot enter just because you have a third touch. Then you assume that you're going to buy just here. Right? You must have patience. You must wait for the market to close at least above your neckline. Right? The market is like this. You have a neckline there. You must buy at least above, above the neckline. And also, the most important mistake we make when it comes to M C W is this. Traders tend to do this. When you see this, put a line. Automatically, you want to buy from this level. Yes, yes, the market can, the market can move to your direction. But sometimes, the market can have what we call a continuous pattern or a continuous movement. Now you assume that the market is having our lower lows, the market is at the lowest of the day, right? But this happens, this happens, you have a breakout out of that, um, your support level or your, your new support level or your temporary support level, right? And then the market breaks below. You are expecting the market to go up and then you buy from this level, which is not advisable for you to enter at this because we are not 100% sure if the market is really going to go up. We're just waiting to see if the buyers are strong at these positions. We just want to see if the buyers are strong at these positions. Right? Now, spacey, spacey. I cannot spacey. Okay. Okay, we are still moving. We are still moving, right? Let's just uh, try to, to bring the light back. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, the space is there. Everything is okay, fine. Everything is fine. Yeah, everything is fine. So, I just want to show you again, right? Um, you have your different double tops, right? And your different double bottoms. Now, I just want to show you which to trade and which not familiar or not most of the time to trade, right? We have a double top. Let, let's start first with a double top, right? The double tops. Now, we have a double top that has two legs at the same price, 100% accurate. We have a double top that has two legs at the same price, which is very good or very useful actually in other ways and then you have a double top that is like this right the first leg is higher or longer than the second leg also good to trade now this you can trade this you can trade but mostly the most not 100 percent consistent or accurate even though you can trade them um, is this ones where the second leg is higher than the first leg or the, the second leg is higher than the previous leg right but these ones that are at the same price you can trade them and then the one which the first leg is higher than the second leg you can trade them 
And then this one, not as advisable for you to trade. They are quite risky. Because the market, the buyers still have pressure. The buyers the buyer still have pressure. And this is why the second leg is higher than the, the first leg. Right? Most of the time, if this happens, we can have something like this. And then the market moves. And the market moves. You know why? Because the second leg is higher than the first leg. Meaning that the buyers are still in control. The buyers are still strong. And we are hoping to sell. But yes, it's not really advisable to trade. You can trade them. They do happen. But I would advise you to, to take this kind of um, double tops. Right? Now, same thing applies to the double bottoms. Same thing applies. Same thing applies. Um, right? This happens. Right? Uh, two legs at the same price. Accurate, consistent. You can use that. Right? Secondly, first leg longer or lower. Sorry. First leg lower. Than the second leg, you can take them. Simply means buyers are strong. Buyers are strong. Right? And also here, simply means the support that is holding the buyers is very strong. Right? Then thirdly, you have this. The first leg is short. The first leg is short. And then the second leg is higher than the first leg. This is not 100% accurate, right? Let me show you here. I would advise you to take this kind of trade. Why? Because the sellers are still in control. That is why the second leg is lower than the first leg. Right? Remember, remember, this is. Um, the confusion, right? First leg must be equal to the second leg, right? Those are the rules. First leg must be equal to the second leg. Or first leg, when it comes to double top, right? The rules of the double top, right? Or the first leg must be higher than the, the second leg. Or the first leg must be longer than the second leg. That is the rule for double top, right? When it comes to double bottom, at least they must be equal. Yes, correct. You can take this kind of trade. And then, secondly, the first leg must be lower than the second leg. Accurate. Then you can trade this kind of trade, right? Now let me show you how to where to place your stop loss on the double top formations and your entry levels, right? Let's say you had your support level. This is your support, right? The support level and the market moves, right? And then you have your M there, right? Um, and then you have your neckline. But where should I put a stop loss? Your stop loss must be above. Must be above your pattern, right? Your stop loss must be somewhere there. Where will your take profit be? Your take profit can be from the previous support. Or you can take your take profit right there. Right? Your entry level must be below the neckline. There should your entry level be. Right? Same applies to double bottoms. Same applies to double bottoms. You buy above the neckline, then you put your stop loss below your pattern, underneath your pattern. Then your take profit can be from the previous resistance level. 
on your 15 minute time trip, right? This is why we don't need this kind of setup. Uh, I'm just gonna be a little bit quick now. You see, this this is the reason why we can't trade this. Because if you wanna trade this, where will your stop loss be? Because your take profit will be lower than your stop loss level. So the risk management there is not actually. The risk management is not actually. You might lose more than what you might gain, which is not a risk management key. Also, this applies. Uh, where will your stop loss be? Your stop loss will be there. Where will your take profit be? Simply means that your stop loss will be higher than your take profit, meaning that there are many chances that you might lose than gain. That is why we don't take this kind of trade. Right? Now, in conclusion, this is what happens, right? You have your first touch, your second touch, your third touch, you have your neckline there, entry below the neckline, right? And then stop loss might be, uh, I mean, take profit to the support level, right? And then your stop loss must be above your petty, right there. And then for a double top, right? Um, you have a neckline, your entry above the neckline, and then you take profit at the what at the uh, resistant level. And then your stop loss must be below your pension right also triple tops and triple bottoms they also use the same strategy you just place your stop loss above and then your entry must be below the neckline right or rather wait for a retest on the neckline rather wait for a retest on the neckline if you want to be under the present show about the trade Right, you wait for the retest on the neckline, then your entry will be there. Your entry will be there. Your entry will be there. Always enter above the neckline, don't enter at this level. It's not 100% actually. Don't enter at this level, not 100%. Actually. So, this is how you trade. Um, your double tops and double bottom formation using a trading EMA moving average. You must have at least one, two, three touches, and then you can confirm that the market is gonna go to the direction that you are willing the market to go, right? Or the direction that you are hoping the market to go. I hope this um, analysis or this double tops, how to trade double tops and double bottoms, also double uh, triple tops and triple bottoms will benefit you or your trading style or your trading career and those who have been using this this will just be a bonus thank you